Good morning, guys. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Thanks for stopping to take a look at this video. We have a special one in store for you today. I am on my way to meet a fellow YouTuber that uh, I've been talking to a little bit. I've been um, one of the best permissions that we've had probably so far. I found a 1930 Standing Liberty Quarter, a Merc Dime, and a Silver Rosie among like 11 Wheaties. So definitely, definitely think we're going to have another good day. He's got another permission lined up for us after that, so we're going to hit that permission, and then hopefully we can get some goodies out of there. So go down there and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, guys, like there's a large majority of people watching my videos that aren't subscribed, so go down there and hit that subscribe button for me, and I will definitely appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. As promised, here we are. Got John Grony from the Grony What's Boys with us. We're going to be out here hitting this nursery that we were hitting uh, a couple weeks ago. Found the Standing Liberty out here. So uh, hopefully we'll bring you back. We got something good out here. We got something else planned for after this. So we'll definitely have something to show you today. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. A real loud 90. It's just going to be this metal end to like a, a watering jug or something. And it's got some writing on it here. Getting a real good signal here. Coming up at an 81 to 85, kind of jumpy though. So, let's bring you back. Just gonna be a memorial penny on that one. Man, had me fooled though. I thought for sure that was gonna be a weedy. What year is that? Yeah, 1960. 1960 memorial. So there's definitely some silver left out here. I'm in the same hole here. I waved the coil back across there and I'm getting pretty much the same signal. So we might get a weedy out of this hole. Let's see. <laughs> nope, just another memorial. Let's see, is this one 1960? Nineteen sixty, wow. Two nineteen sixty memorials came out of the same hole. Cool stuff. Alright, John just whistled us over. Let's see what we got here. This is actually where I pulled my first silver rosie on this property. Let's see what he's got. Right there. Yep, there it is. Right here. Nice. Sorry. No, you're good. I yeah, wasn't expecting that right away. All right, well, the first good coin dig here. I don't know if you can see that. I see silver. It's probably seeded or something. <laughs> That'd be sweet, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> I think All we right. spend the whole day out here. Here we go. Oh, it's oh a sweet, man. There you go. Awesome. Let's see if I can get a year real quick without making everyone cringe because I rub my coins like crazy. But. Hey, I keep my stuff, so I don't never sell it. 1937. Right around the year, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Awesome yeah, job, man. Good Thanks, deal. Brother. Yes, sir. All right, this one here is coming up at a really solid 50 mid-tone. So let's see what this thing is. Oh yeah, got the ring pool. Good stuff. Looks like John's gonna be on the board with the first weedy of the trip. This could be in pretty good shape anyway. Oh sweet, yeah. Definitely a weedy. Oh, it's crest on that side, of course. <laughs> oh, it's on there too, it's not coming off. So, But it is a weedy. Yes, if I sir. can get a date, I'll let you know. All right guys, I got a crier in my hole, so I'll turn you back, back over here in my hole. Here's what I was talking about. You can see that silver edge on it and the numbers were coming up real good. But when I popped it, just the top off of an old bottle. Probably old Clorox or bleach or something like that, but we'll get it out of the way though. Hey guys, I was getting a real, real, really good and loud 70s up to 80s. It was like 78 up to 82. Dug down and you can kind of see it showing here. I think I know what this is. I've dug a few 
previous. Oh, no, I was wrong. I thought that was an old water hose nozzle. And you know what? It is, but not the kind that I was thinking. Yep, not what I thought it was. It's copper. But not the kind that I thought. Oh, well, still pretty cool relic. I will show it in the wrap-up, guys. Guys, I was getting a real good uh, around a 50 signal. And when I dug down, I got this button here. I don't know too much about it, but it says Panama Mobile. And it's an iron back, I believe, because the back is real rusty. But, yeah, pretty cool old relic. I'll get this thing cleaned up. Probably came off of some old uh, overalls or something like that from one of the workers out here. But we will get it cleaned up in the wrap-up and show it, guys. All right, guys, right here in the hole, getting a real, real, real good signal. When I dug down, wow. Buffalo? Is that a buffalo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get a date. Are you lucky enough to get a date? All right, guys, I got that buffalo from right here getting a very similar signal right off to the side of it so keep your fingers crossed for me we're going to do this one live and i'm probably cursing myself but you know i think that's only like the third uh what silver Let's go over here and see what John's got real quick. Big silver, little silver. Little silver. Sweet, dude. What? Right yeah. here, a house used to sit right here where this foundation yeah, is. Yeah, I saw so it was kind of moving down here. But no, this is the hole. So I plugged this plug, right? And then stuck the pin pointer down and got that weedy. I was like, ah, oh, cool, it was a weedy. But then I got another signal. Look at that. It was in the park. All day. All day. Oh, man, I hope uh, that's a seated or something. Or a barber. stupid. It looks like it's going to be a rosy. Yep. Oh, no, it might be a Merc. I see a little... Uh... Yep, it's a rosy. Cool. Dang. Yep. In the plug. Also fine, 1947. That was a good spill, bro. Heck that was yeah. a good spill. <laughs> Having fun now. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Turned out to be a good day. John just got that silver rosy so let's see what this tone was right here oh, i might need a oh yeah it's right here well if i could ever find it nope No, just trash. We tried. All right, guys, on to the next. Back. Getting a real, real good 70 signal right here. I done flipped the plug, and it's spanking it right in the plug. So I'm going to go ahead and find it live real quick, see if we can pull it out. I'm hoping for a weedy. Everything that we found out here, and I still have not found a weedy. Oh, might have just got my... Yep. See it right there? Sweet. One cent. Let's see if we can get a date off this thing real quick. Nineteen forty one. Sweet. Real good seventy signal. When I dug down here, I was looking everywhere for it. And if you look, it's actually right there in the wall. So let's pop that out. Dude. War nickel. Yeah. Live dig too.
Yeah, 1943P. Hell yeah, I got a nice square nickel in my last video too. Again. They was out here throwing the nickels. He's on the nickels. Look at that. Ooh yeah, that's a 35 percenter all day. Yes sir. I'm gonna run this back here. Is that P? Yep. Good there's, stuff, man. The P above the Monticello. That right there is a war nickel. You know they put that mint mark on so big above that, <laughs> yeah. so that they can recover yep. these coins. Yep, I did read that. Silver. Never got around nice. to it. <laughs> nope. I gotta take a picture. Yeah. I need to take a picture of your other one too. Here. Yeah. Here got all. all right, guys. Next signal right here. Still in the same general area where we found that buffalo and that war nickel. I think I got a trigger off of an old toy gun. You can just see that. It looks like it would have come down right there, and that would have been your mechanism up here. A pretty cool relic probably came off of one of those old uh, cap guns that the kids had back in the day cool stuff all right guys I was over here getting another signal it was coming up like a weedy when I dug down I got this here token it's one of those early uh, presidential tokens and it says uh, 19th president Rutherford Hayes with his uh, picture on it there and then on this side it's got a little quote from him I would imagine but at the bottom it's there it says electoral vote it says his party best who serves his country but yeah we'll get it cleaned up and show it real good in the wrap up this is going to be a first for me I'm happy they I found that I've already pulled it out because of how excited I was, but getting a solid 80 to 82 on the Simplex. Got a general service button. That thing's amazing. Man. Bucket lister right there for sure. Yeah, I've been wanting to dig one of these since I started metal detecting. So it's one of my favorite things to dig is military buttons, and that's a super nice one. Yeah, yeah, that thing came out beautifully. Heck yeah. Congrats Check on that. that Thank you, brother. Sweet, I never would have imagined I found that out here, dude. <laughs> you got little shakes going on. Yeah, I never would have imagined that. Awesome. All right, guys, on to the next one. Next signal, 1945 Weedy. You can kind of watch this thing dry. That's crazy. It gets all, all foggy once it gets dry. All right, guys, on to the next. So we're out here at a property now. You can see behind me, it's all Orange Grove. John, uh, this is a permission that John and, and them been, have been coming to. There actually used to be a house that sat right around where we're at right here. We were out here probing for bottles because there's a lot of old glass on the top. We weren't lucky enough to get down on any glass, on any good bottles, but uh, John already found a sterling silver spoon handle. He eyeballed it when we were looking for bottles. And uh, two or three little glass buttons. They're pretty cool little little finds. So we'll show them in a wrap-up. But I'm over here at the first uh, find out here for me. So I'm going to turn you around and we'll find this thing. Rain on us. But it was coming up as about a 75. It's a little low to be a weedy. I'm thinking it's a little bit bigger than a coin. Yep, just gonna be this old strap. Nothing, nothing good. Coming up at a real solid 78, jumping up to 80. Looks like a piece out of a clock or something with the gear. Might have been the back to a pocket watch, but I doubt it. It looks like it was more of like some innards of a clock or something. It's old though. All right, guys. On to the next one. Guys, next signal here coming up at a mid-tone. Pretty sure this is just an old shotgun shell head stamp. 
brush it real quick just to see if anything on it. Yeah, there's some words on it, but there ain't no telling. Probably a UMC Co. Alright, on to the next one, guys. Rotten orange that I just stepped on. Oh. Getting a real, real good 70s screamer. Let's get down here and see what this thing is. Oh, yeah, this high is probably just a can. Let's see. Yep, just some old farm trash. All right, guys. Guys, next signal here is coming up at a good mid-tone, probably around 40. Let's see what this is. Oh, just some farm trash. John just yelled, I've got a button, so let's get over there and see real quick. I just seen a deer too, which was really cool. Oh, yeah? yeah, and he was real close. He's coming straight ahead, right here. Okay. Have to your, uh, oh, I see you. Right, no way. All right, so this just happened. You can see where I kicked the dirt over with my shoe. It's right on top. The plow came through. You can see it's plowed up, so. Everything's kind of churned up, but look at that. Man, it's a great seal. World War II? World War II. Cool. Let me brush it up, and I'll take a better picture. Nice. Good job, brother. Golly, man. I can't believe that. Right on top. Right on top. All right, guys, so just a quick wrap-up. We'll go over John's stuff first. Got a couple pieces to an old compact. Probably got the whole compact there, to be honest with you. I think those are just uh, clad and memorial yeah. pennies. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of Wheaties up there. And there's 12. 12 Wheaties. Got, so he eyeballed this when we were looking for bottles. This is a handle to a silver spoon. And then maybe a row or two over in the orange grove. Got him the, the bowl to it. And that thing is heavy, too. Yeah, that's, that's silver all day. <laughs> then jump over here. He got him two silvers. He got a 1937... Merc and a 47 Rosie. Got him a great seal button out here in the orange grove. And then a little, what we think is some kind of insignia or something. or something. Yeah, it's got a screw back and it's got like the patent and stuff like that on it. And it's 1898. Yeah, yeah 1898 patent date on it. So that's pretty cool. Jump down here. We got like an old 30-06 bullet. Some innards to a clock a trigger to a toy gun i got five wheaties a little bonus fine here on the button all my clad and then jump over here got the war nickel it's a 1943 i think got a buffalo that we haven't been able to get a date off of yet but i was tickled about that got a old presidential token uh from a rutherford haynes not familiar with him but we'll do some research and figure out when that came from and then got this little Panama mobile button we think it came off some suspenders or something like or some overalls and then my find of the day and one of my top bucket listers that I've been looking for look at that that thing is just gorgeous man yeah, that's a nice one it's got the Damn. shank on the back Great shank yeah I think that was one it wasn't sewed on it's just missing the little ring. Yep. But yeah, that's a great find right there. So yeah, that made my day right there. Heck yeah. So yeah, man. And to find two of them. I know, and then John two, found totally one too. Two different permissions. I mean, they it's crazy. Two different permissions. So. Had a good day, brother. We'll oh, have to do this again you, soon, man. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, guys. See you at the next one.